the Mall of Scandinavia. And over there, there is the Tesla shop. So, as a Nissan Leaf driver and a huge interest in electric cars and environment-friendly transport, I needed to try the car that everyone talks about, the Tesla and the Model S P90D. Okay, so here we are driving the Tesla. Immediately as I came out on the highway, I wanted to try the so much talked about self-driving feature of the Tesla. So I'm driving this car right now, uh, but I'm not driving it. It drives itself on the highway and I'm not even keeping my hands on the steering wheel. That's cool. But watch out. It's dark. It's wet. And the markings on the road is pretty poor. Wow, you need to be on alert when using the self-driving feature. It's not 100%, still your eyes can do a better work to keep the car on the road in a safe way. Besides from the self-driving feature, the car also automatically detects the speed limit on the road by actually reading the sign that you pass. I was a little bit disappointed because after the self-driving function has stopped working, the small sign on the instrument panel showing that self-driving again was possible was actually not showing up. And I cannot tell why. But in general, the invention of this car is marvelous. I wonder what this Elon Musk will come up with next. Maybe he will put a Tesla self-driving on the planet Mars, since he is also the owner of the company SpaceX. <laughs> well, back to Earth. During the test drive, I was almost forgetting that I was driving an electric car, since the Tesla has so many interesting features. Of course, it's difficult to make a comparison between the Tesla and the Nissan Leaf, but since I have been driving a quiet electric car for some time, maybe the wow factor of the Tesla is not so huge for me especially when it comes to the characteristics of the driving. <laughs> 